Welcome everyone to some more Lifeless Planet. It's actually a pretty cool game, so I think I'll just carry on. I'm enjoying it quite a lot, so I hope you are too. Ah, the button of button pressing. That doesn't sound like something I want to be near. Okay, it doesn't matter, my clone can take over when I die, I guess. Oh, there we go. I assume it's the timer. Easy, they made it. So simple. Oh wait, there's a button there. Haha. Uh -huh. I thought it was going to be a timer thing where you had to sort of beat it there. But that sort of thing. So it seems that our glowing friend knows how to use technology, so that could be a good sign that they maintain some humanity. The problem is that they might not be friendly. Oh god, it's the garage. Oh, I don't want to touch that, thank you. Okay, it's gone. Not sure what that is, but I don't want to find out. Although my clone could take over, I'm kind of tired. Maybe I should let him take over next time. The first me didn't last too long, did he? Did I? Oh. Okay. Maybe there's a way around. Maybe your mom's in prison. <laughs> no, that doesn't mean I'm sorry. There's definitely a way. Oh, look, it's like Mario. Just sort of down the pipe and... Oh, no. Certainly not. Okay, this is not going to camera angle to work at, with, with, at, with. English is such a hard language at times. Okay. Through the giant pipe. I like this. Except for those noises. And the, the foreboding music. Um, I got around, didn't I? Yes. But there's some shinies over there. What? Hello? Okay. Mining operation. I've located an abandoned mining operation. The rocks here appear to share the same phosphorescent properties the human footprints I'm following. I suspect there's some radiation involved here. Not sure if this is area safe, so I'm moving on. Following the green footsteps as best I can. Interesting. But they mentioned it being... Oh no, wait, there's some sort of parasitic feature to it, so that could be bad. Am I meant to... Uh, there's an up and there's a down. But it seems like they went... They climbed up here. Okay. I'm going the right way to a degree, but I kind of bypassed the, um, the way down that I was meant to do. Maybe he would have said something like, Shit, how do I get up there? And I've been like, Huh, I know. Because I'm so smart at this. I'm just so good. I should probably mention that, by the way, I haven't played this far at all, so this is all new to me. I got up to the part where we actually discovered that there was some human life on this planet before. I forgot to mention that in the previous episode. But that's okay, I'm mentioning it in this one. Okay. I assume, yes, the tracks are this way. Excellent. And they're definitely not down there. So why are we following these tracks again? What do we hope to glean? Gain. Okay, that thing's definitely watching me. Other than that, I'm hot on its trail. I can probably turn my torch off now. Chasm. That's not foreboding. Boop. Okay, clone number three. It's time to shine. I guess not, not yet. Clone number two is doing a good job still. Yeah. Clone number two, you can't. You won't let me down, will you? You won't randomly die and then unlock a gravitational achievement. Oh, there she is. Or he. It's like a ghoul. From Fallout. Did she just pull. give me the finger? 
Damn, she's running fast. Damn, she's hot. After her, man. She could be your next wife. You just need to learn Russian. A vivid hallucination. I'm not alone on this planet. And she didn't have any... Uh, what's it called? Breathing apparatus. Therefore, that leads me to believe that this virus is possibly airborne and she's somehow immune to it. So therefore the oxygen levels are a thing that we could use to our advantage. That guy had a lot to say. Director's report, 1208, 1978. Despite the hesitation of our scientists, I increased the kilowatt output of our electrical generators by 200% without any noticeable environmental reaction. The reproductive rate of the moss-like species that we call the green fire appears to be quite high and we theorize that it must also serve as a source of nutrients for the other plant life on the planet. To alleviate, to alleviate the concerns of our scientists, I have returned the generators to normal output, but the result, eligible. Dot, dot, dot. Find myself wondering if the abundance of power is not, in on itself, a deterrent of warfare. Would our enemies lower their weapons if they knew our reactors? Would never power down. What level of accomplishment would they feel in their flag in the moon if all they could see looking back at the earth was the continuous glow of mighty Soviet Union? Nuclear weapons seem like the clouds of barbarians compared to the scientific potential we have seen here. More families are arriving to be with the men. Our society blossoms into an extension of the motherland. A new motherland. This is what the great writers of our age must have felt while regarding their creations. Perfection. Auto translated from Russian. Okay. So this is like singularity. Except on a different planet. I get it. Potential to make a highly reactive, awesome stuff. Weapons. You know. War. Is there a reason I'm meant to go, can go up here? I don't know. Let's just carry on with the main quest at hand to find our next wife. Or, failing that, figure out what the hell she is. Oh, I see her. I'm surprised you didn't get away from me whilst I was waiting for that guy to finish his rant. He took he talked for quite a long time. That boat is not foreboding. That's interesting, it didn't actually... ...fall on me. How strange. Hey, girl. Are you cold? Oh. Um. Yeah. I'm not gonna climb that. Right? Oh. I'll just go this way then. I'll see you in a bit, future wife number two. I assume I had a wife at some point. Oh, bugger. Gravity's the thing here. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I really meant to go this far just to get up to where she was. That's interesting. That red stuff doesn't look good. What about our fellow crewmate that we saved and then lost to the Uraj or the cave in? Is this stuff hot or. Garnets. Initial analysis indicates an almadine or pyrope garments, garments in a mica schist, typical of minerals formed deep underground at very high pressure. If confirmed, this suggests active plate tectonic activity in this planet's crust, 
which could contribute to an environmental environment more hospitable to life. Interesting. Hospitable, eh? Very interesting. Well, this is a dead end. I guess I'm meant to do the leapfrogging action now. That seems to be the, the norm. Yep. That's the thing that you do now. Oh, that should not have worked, but it somehow worked. I'm quite glad it worked. I don't want to have to redo that jump again. Let's just put it that way. I must say, I do quite like the overall style of this place. Look, she's getting away. Slowly. I still don't know why I'm after her. I guess I gotta ask her questions or something. First question is, are you cold? Second question is, how the hell are you breathe in this air? Third question is, did you call to me, my dear? I'm coming. Um, I don't know what the third question would be. I'll let you answer that, other me. Interesting. Hmm. Good, we got a save point. Oh, those don't look good. Check bat fuel can let it extended boost mode enabled. Oh. Okay. Alright. Time for some serious jetpacking. Jetpacking. A jetpack sure wasn't made for low gravity jumping. But it does help me across larger gaps. I found the trick is to space out the jet burst for a maximum distance. If I repeat the burst too quickly, it uses up the charge before it's time to recover. And I don't get very high. Now to decide if I want to go back down below for the easy jump, or take the exciting and dangerous route from here on. Fuck that, we're going the dangerous route. How do we go dangerous? Is this the dangerous route? Let's read that again. I want to go back down below. I assume that's the... Okay, you can double jump, pretty much, or triple jump, however you want to call it. Oh yeah, hopefully this is the more dangerous route. I'm an adventurer, I like it. It's got a ring to it. Now what? Do we... Oh, okay, um... I don't think that's a way you can go, per se, so... I will take this route, I guess. Oh, gravity, you killed me. No! Where am I? Balls. Oh my god, this is shiny. Uh, further samples. Uh, you've collected a mineral sample 102. Elmandine garnets. Further samples of the garnets confirm they are Elmandine var variety. Come on, on Earth. But these are, to, are atypically large. Rock matrix is met. Metamorphic, likely caused by mountain building against suggesting an active geological past to fill this planet. Okay, so I'm meant to be here, but I am still lost. Gravity, you suck. Okay, I think I know where I'm meant to go. Fudge. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, that was intensely hard to figure out. Okay. 
I'm making progress. I like progress. Progress is good. Except when there's jackpacking involved, uh, I'm not gonna be able to make it. You div. Okay. We can do that instead then. I'm not gonna opt for the adventurous route anymore. The easy route sounds good to me. Hello, my wife. Future wife, number two. Where did you go, darling? That's an amazing view of nothing, really. Okay. Oh, it's a rainbow. Double rainbow. Pretty cool. I do like the ambience music. That's pretty nice stuff. Why does she find it so easy to get up these things? Where the hell is she? I don't see how I'm gonna slap her now. She's annoying me. Ah, uh, no, no, that's just mean. She doesn't deserve it. Seriously though, I don't feel like trying to figure out another puzzle. I think we're going to end this episode here, guys. See you next time. Bye.